Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers? Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors. This is Starscream1988. And today I'm going to bring you another toy haul. And this will be toy haul, 18th toy haul of the year. Now, I do want to apologize in advance. I was supposed to do a 17.5. A it was done. But the problem is when I moved, my wife took a lot of my memory cards and she put them in one particular box. So it's still in storage. And I'm still moving everything out slowly. So unfortunately, the shoutouts are there. Um, it's really, it, it's, it's a cool video. It has a whole bunch of Transformers. Um, so what I'm about to show you today is not actually that pickup. It's actually something else. Um, it was a previous one. So again, I do apologize. All the shoutouts are on that video. That will eventually come up. Um, I'm going to say probably another two weeks. And that was two weeks ago. Um, not today, but easily two weeks ago since I last did a video. So anyway, with further ado, I'll show you what's here. Uh, for this one and I won't break this one up this one will be all in one big shot video so if you obviously saw the timer and obviously I just started recording but I'm assuming it's gonna be semi long so as you can see here these are the Marvel Universe um, X4 series and uh, this was a real cool find I actually got these um, at the flea market this week unfortunately there are no weapons for any of them well me well if anything really Deadpool and um, Warpath he, Warpath doesn't have his knife and as you can see Deadpool doesn't have his swords and stuff like that but it's still a pretty cool find um, I picked these four guys up for four bucks so basically paid a dollar figure which is pretty cool the guy actually wanted um, I think he wanted eight dollars and I was like dude it's, they're not worth it they're missing everything <laughs> And so I said, I can give you four bucks is what I have left. And again, it was towards the end of the day, so he did it. So he actually, some of the other items, items I'm going to show you I actually picked up beforehand. But I figure I start with these guys because they look very, very cool. Um, they weren't too hard to pose. Um, they're a little loose, but they're, again, they're nice. Um, but yeah, so that was that. So cool. So that was your X-Force team there. Um, next is a same guy. That was another dollar well spent. Um, I've had him a few times already, but I keep selling him and stuff like that. So, um, so that's pretty cool. So I got another Deadpool there. Um, he's still again missing a gun, sword. I think he has. I think he came with a rifle and stuff like that. So those those items are missing too. But again, that's pretty cool. Um, these are pretty. These will be, I guess, cool for trading and stuff like that. You know, for people that might want them. Um, this guy I won't be trading because I think he's badass. And the only reason I'm keeping him is because the guy that I'm gonna show you after him, it'll go real good with. Uh, as you can see here, um, there's um, Stealth Wolverine or Dark Wolverine or X-Force Wolverine, whatever you want to call him. But um, he is very, very cool looking. And I've never owned him before because um, at that point I had to stop collecting Marvel Legends. I just didn't care. But I believe this came in the Red Hulk pack, uh, which was a Target exclusive, I want to say. So very, very nice figure. I do like him a lot. Um, next, he's in package. I actually got to break him up. Uh, take it. I should have just done it uh, before, um, even though I'm already going to take it out. But as you can see, I have this guy here in package. I also picked him up at the flea market. Um, he was 8 bucks in package, which is a really good deal. So um, as you can see there, Mr. Sabretooth. And him I'm keeping too. So that's, that's pretty cool. So that was that. Um, what other items? And again, I, I was going to say, um, excuse for my display, it looks like shit. Um, I haven't been able to set anything up, um, so that's why I have this horrible table here that I'm using, whatever not. Um, these I also picked up at the um, flea market. This is a really rare Hot Wheel. It's not worth a lot of money, but it is a very rare one. So I was uh, when I saw it, I, I just had to pick it up. I'm again huge into Ferrari, so I thought that was cool, and I you know wanted to just share with um, the Hot Wheels community out there. So very very rare car, not worth a lot of money, but just wearing. Um, this was I picked up this for a dollar too. This is the um, the number twenty four here. I forget the guy's name, but anyway, yeah. So you guys know who it is. Um, but yeah, this is the Dupont. That was from Return of the Jedi. So as you can see there, there's um, Yoda. So real cool car. Not a Hot Wheel. This is one of those. Um, what's the name of this brand? And whatever it is. Anyway, so that's that. Um, what else do I have to show you from the flea market? Oh, as always, I found some more, um, some more model cars there, as you can see. And this is the Tony Montoya 19, the 2005 Thunder uh, Monte Carlo, Chevy Monte Carlo. So as you can see there, um, this, this one right here, another oldie. Um, this is from 1995. 
again very very nice i've picked up five of these now total from the flea market i'm wondering if it was from the same guy he didn't look i, I couldn't recognize him i didn't know if it was the same guy but maybe it was i just didn't notice here's another one so all three of these models that you see here i picked all these guys up for 10 bucks that's not bad so three dollars and 33 cents each give or take so very nice really psyched about that so the model collection is definitely growing um kind of go back to hot wheels i guess these were store-bought right here um you guys have seen had guys have seen this is no big deal um this is kind of fairly new there are a couple reviews out there on it um it's cool cool batmobile mattel has a new line of um batman toys and this is the mbx city batmobile it's pretty nice um it's the first time that uh, Mattel gives Matchbox some love and gives them a um, Batmobile, which is kind of cool. It's different. Normally, for the past 10 years, it's always been Hot Wheels. So, uh, it's kind of cool to see a different Batmobile on a Matchbox card. And actually, I did pick up a third one. This is all in the same day, so just to kind of show you the detail. It's pretty nice. It's very reminiscent to the Brave and Bold Batmobile. I love that huge turbine in the back. It's pretty sick looking. There's the other side. There's the bottom. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is the fact that they left the tampo there on that right fin. It's kind of stupid. It says, you know, 2012 Batmobile, whatever, and all that. So, and there's the front. Again, very reminiscent to the Brave and the Bold Batmobile. It's closest one to it anyway, I, I think, in my opinion. So, again, pretty cool. So, that was that. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, the only reason I picked up one of these is because I don't think I have a loose one. I might. But um, I have two carded, so I figured let me pick up a third one and crack it open. But I won't crack it open until I actually know for a fact that um, I didn't have a loose one. <laughs> this is the first time I pick up a Star Wars figure in a long time. So I'm trying to cover all the different collectors out there. Um, you know, Star Wars, Marvel Legends, Transformers are going to be showing you Hot Wheels. Um, this is Efont Man. I just think he is so freaking unique looking. Unfortunately, he is so top heavy that he won't stand straight. So the only thing I notice, if you flail his arms back, it creates some weight. That's the only way he'll kind of actually stand. So, well, maybe it's just mine, but I think he is so cool looking. Um, I just had to get him. And I honestly do not do not own any Star Wars figures. Actually, no, I do. I, I own a couple Darth Vader's and stuff like that. But um, I just had to get him. I just thought he was really cool looking. So, there's E Font Man. <clears throat> um, another item from the flea market. Picked this up for a buck. I am a New Englander, Boston boy. So, I do love my Patriots, even though they lost again twice to the Giants. You know, hey, got to give the Giants props <laughs> for, those, for those Giant uh, fans out there. But, um, yeah, so this is a Patriots um, Probot. And it's basically a Transformer. It is an official license, um, so it's not a Transformer, but it is a uh, Transformer with figures. You can see there's the um, the Running Man, the Patriot, and um, you transform him, and he just creates, you know, it's a football field, becomes a, a person, so whatever, uh, which is kind of cool. I'm glad I got this because um, there's some baseball caps that are based off of Transformers. They don't, I don't think they have the license to be Transformers. But if you go to Big Bad Toys, there's a, a new line of like these baseball caps that transform into robots. So that's pretty cool. So again, I don't think they're actual official license transformers, but uh, that'll be nice to... Um, I did pre-order those, so it'll be nice to kind of compare it with, with the um, football helmet. Cool, so that's that. So I won't be opening this for a long time. Um, these were eBay purchases. This is all one gentleman. Um, I did not have these. I'm kind of glad I got them finally. Uh, it's just a variant um, color, but this is Thrust as you can see there and i just left them in his um airplane mode it's a little scuffed there in the front but that's cool um i'll give you the final price of what i pay for all of these when it's all said and done so as you can see this is the yellow one um i picked up this guy here this is part of landfill i forget their individual names but um there's him there's this guy here i was missing now i currently own a few of these but I was actually, I think I have three of these guys now, unfortunately. Um, this is my first one of this. Um, there's his um, his dump truck part, or whatever you call it. Um, this guy was also missing, so I got him now. And this guy I actually have, but I was missing this piece. So I got all three of these pieces in one lot. 
um, again I was missing the crane so I'm kind of glad that at least now I have a complete um, the red version of this guy here and then last but not least again I have two out of these three also here's your rail racer I'm um, pretty cool um, this guy I already have he's a little yellow so obviously um, what I needed was this piece here um, so I'm sure this will I'll try to clean up as best as I can without getting it damaged because it is light activated as you can kind of oops sorry my hand so you can see there so oh that's because I, I forgot to do that there we go I don't know if you can see that but anyway so I was missing this piece here um, so now I have him again um, I had this guy but I was missing this arm here. This is actually an arm when you transform him. Um, again, this one's very, very yellow. So I don't know, again, if, if this will actually come out. I'm probably going to try to use a light bleach without hopefully it getting damaged. I'll, I'll do it on a little small spot, maybe like on this section here. See if that works. And if that works, then I'll do it on the whole piece. So this will actually go to the one that I'm missing because the other one's in great condition. So there's this guy here. I'm sorry I'm not giving you the names. I know it's Rail Spike, um, something with an M and um god i forgot their names but anyway um this is the guy that i was actually missing um from all three of them so at least now i have a complete rail racer um that i can you know combine and all that good stuff so i don't know what i'll do with the extras i don't know if i'll um custom paint them or maybe trade them with somebody that might need them so that, that could be a possibility but again it's gonna suck because if i do trade him he's gonna be missing that whole panel so it might not be worth it to somebody out there unless they have a hand and they just don't have the rest of the vehicle so whatever so anyway so that was rail racer so i got all this whole lot this was one gentleman they were all individual sales but obviously he put them together which you know with the shipping and all that i paid a total of 43 dollars for all of these so i hope it was a good um purchase um i wasn't trying to pass the 50 dollar mark i know that the um the train set can go for a lot of money and it is complete it's 100 percent complete so i thought it was worth it even though it's a little discolored um he didn't say that in the auction but um i guess i'll let him slide because it's not that big of a deal to me um another item that i picked up this week now these were store purchased of course i finally found my black widow here i'm so black widow jesus christ um yeah my black widow um i found black widow here as you can see um i have not purchased hulk Captain America, Thor, or Iron Man. Um, I don't care to, and I definitely won't be getting them. I only purchased her and Hawkeye, if you saw the Week 17, because I think, even though they didn't get... They got their fair enough of um, movie time in the movie, but obviously they weren't the focus of the Avengers as they didn't get their own movies. So I thought it was kind of cool to just at least pick them both up, seeing as the other guys already had their own lines and stuff like that. So I did pick up Black Widow. So I got lucky. Um, she is not short pack. Well, maybe she is actually short pack. I know she's a little bit harder to find. Uh, but I do, like I said, again, um, so I, I was able to find her, as you can see. Um, sorry about that. That's a phone. <laughs> and I'm just going to let it ring. Um, so, yeah, so there's your Black Widow. Now, this is the big version of my man Hawkeye, as you can see there. This came out a couple weeks ago, but... Um, I got I obviously picked this up at my store as it is a diamond um you know release or whatever um so yeah so i was able to find well get this i should say so i had to order this a while ago so very psyched about it, it looks he looks beautiful i mean he's he's um very close to the actual actor what up but yeah so that looks just like jeremy renner very nice side picture there of jeremy renner as hawkeye the back there unfortunately i had the hulk in my hand and like an ass I kind of passed on on it and now I can't find it so I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass because of that um, so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to find a hope later on so but I, this for this particular line because I do like Marvel selects a lot I'm gonna try to actually create the, the full Avengers team so that'd be pretty cool so that was that um what else do we have oh so I guess I did kind of show you some transformers um, here's the actual purchase of, of transformers this week that i got as you can see here this is the battle armor topspin i think it's called um very very cool it's just a color you know repaint whatever um he's fully loaded with all his um guns and all that good stuff his mech tech weapon and all that uh, for those of you that are movie fans for the transformers i know there's there's a love and hate relationship when it comes to transformers toys that are based on the movie 
obey formers as people like to call them but um yeah i think this is still really cool i do i do like the movie verse a lot so that's him um these guys were actually brand new um in package i just i decided just to open them because um, i wasn't going to review them or anything and i picked up dark mount i had this guy in my hand a couple times and every time i had it in my hand i either left the credit card at home or i just honestly didn't have any cash on me obviously so um i kept passing on and then eventually i was like you know i'm never going to be able to find them and i found them so i picked these up actually at marshall's um a couple days ago because this is two weeks of collecting guys so it wasn't just done in one week so since the last video that you saw this is this is what i've purchased since um i picked these up for 5.99 yeah but yeah 5.99 for both of these so i was pretty psyched about that um compared to the normal side swipe the gray blah which i don't even own one um and i would never want one unless i got it and you know get it in a collection um i think he's awesome looking um the head scope is a little bit different from um, well, actually, it's totally different from Sideswipe, but, I mean, just the colors on this one alone just make up for the other one looking like shit, to be honest. So, that was pretty cool. So, that was that. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this quick. I don't want to bore you guys. So, this was my latest um, collection there. As you can see, it is a big black tote. And this is care of my buddy, co-worker Andrew, Andrew Cutter. Um, he's actually one of the people that I mentioned in the shout out so, you know you guys should check him out he does a lot of comic book reviews so this big tote is just packed with transformers i actually just purchased every single one of his movies like, he didn't have a huge collection it's nice but um all these will pretty much be repeats i only picked them up so i can custom paint and maybe trade with other people but i'll just start putting them here on the table so because we're on the 17th minute so i'm gonna try to make this quick as you can see there there's that guy, and I'm saying that guy because I can't remember his damn name. Um, here's this other one here, as you can see. Got a couple more of uh, bumblebees, as you can see there. This is the stealth version, regular version. And again, I'm gonna be more than likely when I when I'm settled in, I'm gonna make a video announcing what I have for trade for for those of you that might need some of these. Or might just want an extra one. Here's this guy here. Pretty cool. So, I mean, I don't know which ones I'll actually decide to keep and which ones I won't. Because, again, I own all of these. But um, some of them I might want to keep seconds or, you know, second one or third one. Depends. Depends if I'm thinking of painting them, like I said. So, I can't wait to set up. It's going to be pretty nice. So. so, there's this guy here that was scorpion on. <sighs> Here's a sound wave. And I do have his other bits. It's just they, they fell off. But yeah, so there's that. Here's another blackout. And this is the second release, I believe. Um, and what's cool about this is I actually have this one, but he was missing um, he was missing three propellers and he was missing Scorponok back there. So now I do actually have a complete one. So the other one's the one that I'm probably gonna trade with somebody or something like that. So, so I'm definitely keeping this guy for sure. So that was that. Um, we have an RC right here. Pretty cool. Another one is a, again, another, <laughs> another um, ratchet. Um, but believe it or not, I think I'm gonna keep this ratchet. Um, I was never able to, never able to find the G1 version. So I'm just gonna create my own. I'm gonna paint my own um, G1 version of this. And I'm gonna obviously, um, I finally actually got some repo labels. Um, they're unfortunately in box. I was going to show them to you guys, but I got some repo labels. I got a crap load of Autobot stickers and logos, so I'll be able to, you know, create him as a G1 and put Autobot stickers and stuff. So I'll be showing you that in a few months or whatever. Um, we got a, what is it, Brow Devastator? They called him in the movie, they call him Devastator, but I think he's Brawn um, in the, um, the actual toy. So that's pretty cool. And he is also complete. Again, Andrew, Andrew Cutter 2 is uh, my buddy here. Um, he took care of them really well. So, again, thank you, Andrew. It was a very good purchase. Um, you know, he got what what he wanted. Obviously, I got a pretty good savings on it. So, I got another Jazz there. I won't be keeping him. Um, now, these are my keepers. No, actually, let me just finish up. I got another one of these drones. That's, I believe, Swindle? Yeah, I think it is Swindle. So, it's Swindle. Um, here's another Barricade. So... It's like my 15th barricade. 
Here's a bone crusher. That's like, like my 10th bone crusher. Um, here's a, another side swipe. And this is an earlier version, not the not the um, Dark of the Moon version. This is the Revenge of the Fallen, which is the, the nicer of the two, obviously. So there's him. Um, a classic Bumblebee there, or 1978 Camaro, I should say. Here is an Ironhide, as you can see. And this Ironhide is pretty badass. I like this Ironhide a lot. So there's Ironhide. Um, here's my third Sunstreaker, and that is obviously an alternator. Pretty nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, so we'll see. Um, here is a... Sky Warp, as you can see there, and these are from all the from the first movie, first and second movies really, as they got reissued and stuff like that, recolored. Is that? Um, here is a Thundercracker, and I'm kind of trying to think in my head, do I have Thundercracker? I know I have G1 um, recolored Star Screen. Um, I have the regular Star Scream, and I had a third one. I can't remember if it was Sky Warp or Thundercracker. So I know I'm missing either Sky Warp or Thundercracker. So this was another one that I might be missing, which is pretty cool. Um, one that's super, super hard to find. Well, it might be not that, that hard, but you definitely, you know, it was, I uh, believe, what, Toys R Us exclusive, guys? Help me out here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Walmart exclusive, right? So here's your um, um, thrust. Uh, what is it? Thrust... Um, uh, dirge, dirge, ramjet, ramjet, ramjet. I think this is ramjet. Yes, ramjet. So that's pretty cool. Another one that I was missing. Uh, I was missing this guy. I didn't need him, but it's cool, I guess. This is the Target exclusive, um, all like silver version of Starscream. I for Nebulon Starscream. No, Nebulon is like a purple. This is um, crap. I forgot the name of this particular one. I know he's. I think this is the one towards the end of the movie when he takes off and um, trying to find um, um, the fallen. I guess that's you know that's what, I guess what you assume because obviously that's what happens in part two. But yeah, so this is the silver version. Pretty nice. I like the um, the tail fin there. That's pretty cool. So um, I got obviously one of these. I already have them, but. Um, Depending on what I'm missing and what they didn't create, I'm going to try to, I guess, do a thrust and maybe a dirge. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. So that's that. And then last but not least, I saved um, my man here for last. I have a movie one um, Optimus Prime, and this is my third Optimus Prime, as I do have two other ones. Um, it's pretty nice. And then... Last but not least, I was actually also missing him. I do have the hook version, but I did not have the blade version. Um, I just, I don't know why I passed up the first time. I just kind of thought as always, oh, you know, I'll find it later when it's a little cheaper or when I actually have the money. And um, as you all know, these sold out really quick and they just became the harder to find ones. So I finally got this Optimus Prime here. So I'm pretty psyched about that. So again, um, I want to thank you guys as always, as always, um, to subscribing for my channel. Um, for those of you that haven't subscribed, please, please do so. If you like, um, rate, comment, um, share, that'd be great. And um, as always, guys, thank you and look for that 17.5 video. Um, hopefully in two weeks when I move in and I start unpacking everything, um, I would love to reshoot it. But as everything is in storage anyway, it just makes no sense. So again, that video is the one that will have all the shout outs to all the people that have always commented. Um, that are subscribers of mine or some of my favorite subscribers that I, you know, I like to um, watch and stuff like that. But again, guys, thanks so much as always. You guys take care and peace out. Talk to you guys later.